Sam. Well, uh, let's uh, tell you about a success story now that's taken everyone by surprise. A metal processing firm's become an unlikely internet sensation after being featured on the BBC's Top Gear website. The company strips old cars so they can be restored to their former glory and it's featured in a highly successful internet competition. The games to identify the make and model of car correctly while it's stripped down. And already half a million people have logged on to play it. Our business correspondent Peter Plisner reports. Emerging from a vat of acid, this 1959 Mini body shell is the latest vehicle to be stripped bare. It's a process that's in great demand amongst classic car owners eager to restore their pride and joy back to its former glory. Dipping cars in acid removes rust and other materials prior to respray and restoration. So with this process we clear out all the muck and rubbish, clear out a good majority of all the rust and you've got a straight, nice, clear blank page which to start our restoration. In all, they dip around 400 cars in acid here every year, including things like this 1960s Beetle. They can also add a protective coating that stops it rusting. Now this black country firm has been sprayed with success after becoming famous on the internet. The BBC's Top Gear website now features some of its work in a Guess the Body Shell competition. Well, who would have thought we were going to get half a million people looking at... Uh the state of our cars. So how good are you at identifying cars that have been stripped naked? We have three iconic body shells for you to identify. And here they are. Car A, not that easy. Car B, shouldn't be too difficult. And finally, car C. I'm sure I used to have one of those. All the answers in a moment. Meantime, here's one that was restored earlier. A classic Porsche showing just how good they can look after the acid treatment. It definitely keeps the cars back on the road, um, cars that would otherwise disappear and you know, be lost forever. We can put back together and, and you know, sort of keep moving and so you, they're there for other generations to enjoy. Back in the black country and not all the body shells that come here are being restored. This old Citroen van's doubling up as a smoking room. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today in Dudley. Crikey, some of the cars I've had over the years would have disintegrated. Rust buckets, are they? Absolutely, yeah. crumbling in your hands. I could see the ground through the floor of one of them. But anyway, like the Finstones car. Yeah. yeah. So, how did you do in identifying those body shells? Let's put you out of your misery right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was car A, and this is what it looks like uh, when fully assembled. It's a Ford Consul Capri. There you go. Well, what about car B? A bit easier, I think. Uh, yes, you're right. If you've got it at home, it is a Ford Escort Mark 1. Well done. I remember those so well. Finally, did you manage to identify car C? It's a, a Volkswagen Golf Mark 1. There it is. Lots of Mark 1s about. Mm. Yeah. It is a good game, so if you do want to play it, the full version is on the BBC's Top Gear website, which you can find at topgear.com. That's topgear.com.